Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we need to freak out over this 100th episode, it was so good. We got the return of mon Wynn, Win, Samantha Arias, Rain, like, the list goes on, it was absolutely crazy. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, obviously there is so much to talk about, like, I've got a shit ton of notes about this episode because this is the big episode, it's been 100 episodes since Supergirl started back in October 2015. I'm very proud to say that I've been here since the very start, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been as well, and so it's just really exciting to see it hit such a great milestone and bring back fan favourites like one l and Rain, specifically for me, because those are two of my favourite characters on the show, and it was totally freak out Central Zone, because I was freaking out. I tried to record myself, potentially I might have my reactions up, but I don't know if I'll be able to use any footage or not, because they always copyright me when I use footage, but I'll decide if I'm going to upload that reaction video or not, or if I keep it to myself. Because, I don't know, I don't normally do reactions, but I thought I should record myself, like, reacting to, you know, the mon and Rain stuff. But anyway, so, basically how we start off this episode, we have Mixie offering Kara a do-over to go back in time and change the stuff of Lena. Because, you know, he has to do right by the people he is wrong. And that is his purpose for being back. Obviously, this different form is apparently his original form. He wanted to look a bit more cool and a bit more dapper in his past form. I thought that was a kind of funny excuse. I think that's a good excuse actually. So the first thing they do is they go back and they go back before Mercia noticed Graves attacked Lena, I do believe. And so we see her in her old hairstyle. It looks completely natural, completely, you know, the same and I was really convinced that, you know, potentially this could have been footage from that season. And so Kara reveals she is Supergirl and so she went to see Samantha, and I'm talking about Lena, so she finds out, and then she goes see Samantha, so Samantha is in Metropolis, and that's the first time we've seen Samantha return since season 3, so that was super exciting seeing Adair Annabelle back, because I'm a massive fan, Rain was fucking amazing, the best villain on the show, season 3 is the best season, so I loved seeing so much from season 3, because, you know, most of the actors were either from season 4 or season 3, or some in season two, obviously Monel and Win and everyone, but yeah, it was really great seeing all this go on with Samantha. So Supergirl actually dies because Lena wasn't there. And so in all these different timelines, there's different consequences for her trying to change stuff with Lena. And so she's able to control the butterfly effect as far as until the last segment of the episode, which we'll get to in a minute. But anyway, so let's quickly move on as we can get to the more exciting stuff. So we've got Kara and Mixie, they're crying together, laughs my head off, it was really funny. And then we get, on this old TV, we get to see mon and the Legion in this flashback. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of screamed when I saw mon or like shouted, because you guys know he's like my favourite character bar, Supergirl. So just seeing him back on the screen was super excited, that wasn't even like a proper scene. But anyway, so Kara goes back to when Lena actually still distrusts Supergirl and she tries to obviously tell her look it's me Lena I've always been Kara and this is in season three and you know she distrusts her still after this and so Lena's freaking out once again and this is just as the world killers sort of bring in this eclipse and it seems like everyone maybe potentially dies because you know whatever the consequences of her actions was there the eclipse obviously affected it but anyway, so then we move on, and Kara spots mon at a point where he's not supposed to be. So she's like, wait, was that mon -El? Did mon stay? And so, yeah, mon is back, and I was like, holy shit, mon is here. She wants to go back. She's like, can we go back? I need to talk to mon right now. And so we go back, and he never left. And obviously, we would have loved if this was reality, but the consequences obviously were bigger than what happened before so he's back and he gives some absolutely great advice to Kara and I just love seeing them on screen obviously Melissa and Chris are married now so again the chemistry is like always off the walls but I felt like it was really strong like maybe even stronger right now and just seeing him give the advice 
If you guys watch back the scene, it's so good. It's just so heartwarming. It's so Monel, and it's just absolutely precious. And you know, Monel was just you know being a good person. That is who he is. And so he's in costume. She's in costume. She's got this sort of wig on to have her old hair, but. You know, it was just such a good scene. And then we get this scene. Rain returns. Monel and Lena show up. And obviously Lena shows up and she's using this device to try and stop her. And basically what happens is the fight ensues. You remember it back in season three, we had this fight. You know, I think Rain flew away or something like that and everyone was fine. But in this version, because she's changed time, Monel is dead. Lena is dead. Everyone is freaking dead and rain is fine for now But so that was the consequences Monel actually died in this version and also Lena did as well So it's not a reality that she wanted to stay in but it was just great seeing Monel Fighting with Kara so we got some really cool super valor scenes in this episode and I just really appreciated every moment we had also every moment with rain because rain is so good and I love that Annabelle so much and so then we go back to before they were friends so that being Lena and Kara and she tells her you know I'm Supergirl and this was a great scene because I really got chills it was just such a really nice scene paired with the music it was very uplifting very kind of season one like and then we've got this really really funny bit okay I loved it it was basically like a riff on like Avatar Last Airbender or like Legend of Korra when they do the news sort of article voice where it's like Supergirl cuts her hair and bangs are now in demand stuff like that it sort of spins out very classical sort of like Citizen Kane or something like that and it was just so great and Mixie's doing the voice and you get to see him with the old radio mic and yeah wow that was a great scene and then we go back to that same scene though like in the past and Supergirl and Lena are working together, but then you get Ben Lockwood showing up, and you have the cult of Rao making this church. Ben Lockwood is here, his family is dead, his son like jumped off a building because they all believed that Supergirl was going to, you know, save them, like we had back in season three. And so his family is all dead. Thomas Coville returns, that was a nice surprise. I knew he was coming back, but but it was just nice to see a familiar face. Obviously, I said like a lot of them are from season three, the returning characters, but we do have some season four ones mixed in there, and I like that they sort of mix them up. So you have Coville and Lena who are kidnapped, and they are held hostage so that Supergirl reveals her identity to the world. So Wynn is here, and he's not in the suit. This is in the DEO, and he's helping Team Supergirl as they try and stop Lockwood. So in this version of reality, it seems like Wynn actually stays around and we don't have Brainy in this version. And so then a news conference is held where Kara goes on the stage. She says, I am Kara Danvers, but I'm also Kara zor of Krypton. I am Supergirl. And she rips her shirt open. And it was a great moment. Obviously, this had ramifications. And the ramifications of that was all her friends were killed by the Children of Liberty. They hunted them down and they killed them. The one name that was named is Cat Grant, so obviously that's a nice reference, 100th episode, you want to reference one of the biggest characters of the early seasons. Obviously she couldn't return, but it was nice to just see her mentioned. So that's what happens, that's big ramifications right there. And so then we go to the next version of reality, the last version of reality, and this is where Kara's apartment is destroyed, Mixie comes along, but they can't connect to the fifth dimension, they can't get out of there, and so there's police, Lex Luthor's law, there is a new timeline, and Nia saves them from the Lexo suits, and then brings them to the tower where Wynn and Monel are team members in that present day of this reality. We have an evil version of Lena who has kryptonite inside of her. But anyway, let's go back to the tower. So we have Monel and Mr. Mixes Pillick actually shaking hands. And there is a really nice reference back to him trying to marry Kara and because you know that's one of my favorite episodes of Supergirl that was super exciting to see Monel reference that and they shake hands and they're like yeah I remember you you're Trixie but I can forgive you for now if you're helping Kara and so this version of reality you know the characters are the same apart from Lena but you've got Monel and Wynn there helping as well 
because they are part of the team in this version. Also, Monel in this episode is wearing his suit. I don't know if they've upgraded it or not, but it looks pretty similar. So it could be the same or it could be like a little bit of an upgrade. But anyway, so Rain breaks in and she wants Mr. Mix's Pilik because Lena is in need of capturing him because he's trying to harness her fifth dimensional energy that she has got harnessed now. And so you have these amazing fight scenes with Rain versus Supergirl. You got Win and Monel helping out. They help out Jean. Jean's about to die at the hands of Rain. And Jean is able to stop Rain. Rain is dead. And obviously in this version, that means that Samantha is dead as well. However, they stop her. And so, yeah, Win and Monel are a good help to Jean. Then at the same time, we've got Kara facing off against this dark version of Lena. And this version of Lena very much so doesn't know who Kara is because they were never friends in this version of reality and so Lena has kryptonite inside of her because her mum detesting on her just like she did to the Metallos if you remember back to season 2 and so she's got kryptonite inside of her and she's able to shoot out like a beam so she is a version of Metallo in this version of reality and so yeah that's the last stuff that we got to see with our returning characters with Monel, with Rain, with also Wynn as well. And it was some great stuff and I just really appreciated that they brought back some of our favourite characters, definitely some of my favourite characters, Monel and Rain, and obviously Wynn, even though Wynn was in the last two episodes, he still counts as a returning character. But anyway, so then they go back to normal reality, the reality where Lena actually helps Lex. And so Kara and Mixie decide not to change history, and so Mixie leaves, he was a great addition in this episode and I'm pretty sure he's a recurring character so maybe we can expect him to come back pretty soon. Maybe that means some other returning characters might come back in the near future. I think that is something to hope for. But for now you have Jean and Alex and Kara as they sort of have this really nice little moment towards the end of the episode reminiscing. They were all here, these are the original members who are still around, obviously you had those returning characters in this episode as well, but it ends with the main three who are left, and so it was a really nice, very touching scene, and the final bit of the episode, the final bit we need to talk about is Kara confronts Lena, finally, and she's done blaming herself for the bad decisions that Lena makes, and this is something that we've been waiting for, and this is the best thing that could have happened about this episode, and about what it's been leading up to, because it's really down to Lena. Because if she goes on the bad side, if she continues down this path helping Lex, she will stop her, she will treat her like a villain, she will treat her like anyone else, and this is completely reasonable. And also, she gives her the chance that if she wants to come back, that is her choice. And Kara is going to be waiting for her. Either way, she's going to stop her or she's going to welcome her back. And I think this was a brilliant way to the end of the episode for a brilliant episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was an amazing episode, the 100th episode. I think it was really good. This might be my favorite episode this season. I think so. And it was just so exciting to see some of my favorite characters return. And I'm sure you guys have a lot of thoughts about this episode. Let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of it? Are you freaking out? Who do you want to see back once again? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.